Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're unboxing Lenovo's new Marvel D Dimension of Heroes uh, augmented reality game. So if you, you can see, I have my lightsaber right here, and this is from Star Wars Jedi Challenges. So, a little background. Back in August 2017 at IFA, Lenovo announced Star Wars Jedi Challenges. It came with a Mirage AR headset, uh, this lightsaber controller, and a tracking beacon. And it was a ton of fun. I love this. It was one of my favorite things that came out in 2017. Because you can do what we all dreamed of. You can put on an augmented reality headset. You have a holographic Darth Vader standing in your living room. And you get to fight him. You know, it's, it's, what, we've, it's what we've all wanted since being kids. You know. So, um, obviously, um, they gave the headset its own name, Mirage. And... Um, I think it's common sense to know that Lenovo is going to do something else with the Mirage headset at some point. And here we are. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing Disney owns a piece of, of the IP on this headset. So uh, they're expanding their partnership with Disney. And now we have Marvel Dimension of Heroes. So you can play as any of six characters, as you can see right here. Uh, it's Captain America, Thor, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Doctor Strange... And Star Lord, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm either gonna be Captain America or Thor, but who knows? So I, I don't actually know much about the gameplay because I haven't been able to play it. When when Star Wars Jedi Challenges came out, I had had several briefings with Lenovo where they had already let me try it out, and I, I knew what I was in for. And then of course I got the review. It. This one, I don't know. <laughs> when they briefed us on this. I wasn't actually allowed to try it out. So uh, there's, I know there's, there's a story mode where, okay, so I'm reading off my own article here. Uh, the Lord of the Darn, Darm Dimension attacks Earth. You have to defend it. Uh, the villains of the story include Loki, Ronan the Accuser, Ultron Prime, and the Winter Soldier. And then Doctor Strange goes and turns back time, gives you a chance to save the world. There's also survival mode where you just have to fight off waves of supervillains. And then there's co-op mode where you can play with a friend and co-op. You can't fight each other and have them be the villain. You know, um, that's something they added with Star Wars Jedi Challenges is, is multiplayer mode where you can actually have a lightsaber fight with a friend. And um, so obviously that multiplayer mode is coming over to this. So the, the hardware, um, the headset and the beacon is the same. Okay, we're going to have our Mirage AR headset here. Okay. And here we go. So here's our headset. And um, let's pull some of these pieces of plastic here. Now this is smartphone powered, which is really cool. Where there's a tray on one of these sides. Yes, there's a tray over here. And we can pull it out by, it just comes out. And <laughs> see we have our, our smartphone tray here. And then we lift up this smartphone goes right in there and then you just slide it back in and um, it does still this still does require a charge it's a uh, micro USB oddly enough there's a battery in here though so uh, it won't suck down it won't, you know you'll get you'll get longer bit uh, get longer gameplay that way I'm trying to get it back in there we go yeah that's <laughs> similar design as the first one as I can see now um, there's also going to be a USB, a micro USB adapter in here that will connect to your phone. And um, if it's like the other ones, I've seen that there will be um, lightning USB type C and micro USB. Although I'm not sure how necessary micro USB is these days because considering like premium devices that are going to be supported with this, um, there, are, there won't be a lot of micro USB ones. Okay, so that's the headset, you know. Uh, all right, let's go for the beacon next. There's something in this. There's several boxes in here, so we're gonna go through these. I think these are the controllers. All right, this is the tracking beacon. And basically when you're playing, this just has to be on the floor. It, it helps to just know where you are. It's a, it's a tracking beacon. Uh, it tracks. <laughs> you can turn it on. Well, I guess it doesn't have batteries in there. Uh, but it does say copyright Disney on the bottom, which uh, adds to my theory that Disney does own a lot of the IP on this. Because 
Uh, while Lenovo is expanding this now to Marvel, I suspect that they don't actually have the right to expand it to something that Disney doesn't own. Now, let's see what's in this box. <laughs> All right. Oops, we're going to open it this way, I guess. All right. This is... Jeez, this is actually a very hard box. To, oh, there's a controller. Okay, so there's separate controls and separate boxes. Okay. Yeah, so here's one of the controllers. All right, so we'll just get this other one open while, we, while we've got it. And, um, because there, there are two controllers. Remember, the, the Star Wars game only came with the one controller, the lightsaber. This one has two, so there's a little bit more going on here. And what's very cool about this is that you can actually use this to play Star Wars Jedi Challenges. I don't believe that you can use this to play the Marvel game, because it, it, I do believe you need two controllers for this. So... You, but you do get the two games in one with with uh, with Marvel. Like, you get the whole Marvel Dimension of Heroes game, but you also get Star Wars Jedi Challenges, which is very cool, if you ask me. All right, and let's see what's in this final box, because now I have no idea. Oh, a bunch of batteries. Wow. We have uh, six AA batteries in here. Not sure why, because unless... Oh, yes. Yes, I do remember being briefed on this now. It's because these actually use AA batteries. Uh, I forgot about that because the um, this this charges via uh, micro USB. Remember, it does it has to pair with your phone with Bluetooth. It's it's gonna need a battery in it. So you can see this is how you kind of hold it here. There's a strap there, and you just kind of you know I don't really know. I, I haven't played the game still. Uh, let's see what else is in here. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, we got some wrist straps, and that's a. Uh, Oh yeah, so that, that hooks on right here, and that's so you won't end up, uh, you know, throwing it through your TV. Uh, okay, USB Type A adapter, which um, is obviously for charging the headset. That's the only thing that's actually rechargeable here. And it is just a regular five watt charger. I assume there's also a cable in here. Here, here it is. Uh, USB Type A to micro USB, which is great news because. I know I don't have any micro USB cables lying around anymore, so yeah. There should be some adapters in here too. Here's um safety, warranty, and product guide. Uh, okay, here's our adapters. Yeah, it does come with all three. So uh, one end is micro USB, the other end is whatever your phone is. So like this one is micro USB to USB Type C. This one's micro USB to Lightning. And this one's micro USB to micro USB. So you just plug one end into your phone, the other end into that micro USB port that's over here. And um, yeah, that's how it connects to your phone. Is there anything else in this box? No. So that's everything that's in the box. There's quite a bit, actually, a little more than I expected. So this whole package is available for $249.99, which is $50 more than Star Wars Jedi Challenges cost, but you do get the extra game. Um, Lenovo did tell me that they were going to sell the controllers separately. You know, these controllers, yeah. But <laughs> they did say they were going to sell these controllers separately, and um, part of the reason for that is because if you bought Star Wars Jedi Challenges, you know, two years ago, then you have most of these pieces. You have your beacon, you have the the headset, so all you need is this to complete the puzzle. And um, I don't know how much they cost. I, I don't know, I don't believe that it's being sold in that way yet. But I can tell you that if you buy these for, <laughs> if you buy the, this game for $249, you do get both, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna try them out because obviously I'm reviewing the product. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm not only gonna try out the Marvel Dimension of Heroes game, but I'm gonna try out um, Star Wars Jedi Challenges using these guys. And um, we'll see how that goes. So I, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to charge up this headset. And I'm going to put batteries in these things. And then I'm going to play this game. Because <laughs> here's the thing. I am pumped for this. And um, it sounds like a, a, a weird thing to be excited about. Because, I don't know. Because I really don't get that excited about tech products anymore. Because I, I review so many that it's easy to remain objective. Uh, but... but you know, there are certain things that are just 
fun. And and this is absolutely fun if if history is any indication from Star Wars Jedi Challenge because it was so much fun. And um, also, if history is any indication, they're going to keep expanding the game. Um, with Star Wars Jedi Challenges, they had several feature updates. They're all free to anyone who owns the game. And um, obviously, Lenovo wants to get this out there, you know. Um, it's it's To me, it's what, kind of what augmented reality was made for as far as consumer use cases go. Because, I mean, there's lots of business use cases, right? And I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but as far as just being at home and having a headset on, you know, actually, like, or at least AR gaming, I, I can say, you know, like fighting a lightsaber battle, like that makes sense, you know, and um, I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to make sense with Marvel, but I have enough faith in, um, in Disney and Lenovo with this since I used the last product. I have enough faith to believe that this is going to be a good product, so... Um, I'm going to have a review on it in a few weeks, probably a month, and I'm going to go play some games now. So that's it. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.